welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am <clears throat> Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So I am here to give you some, some entertainment today. Uh, so here we go. Um, first and foremost, uh, please don't get scammed if anybody is telling you you, you know, reaching out on any comments saying they can help you or whatever they would say, just ignore that, report them, do whatever you want to do. Um, <clears throat> just don't waste your money on scammers. Second, if you would like to call in and ask a question about life, love, career, finances, the call in number is 845 277 9131. <clears throat> if you would like to join us live on YouTube, you can do that. And uh, you can post questions in the chat on YouTube. Okay, you guys. So this morning, I'm setting everything up, trying to go live or getting ready and chatting with people. And my thing says, oh, you know what? You can't go live on <clears throat> LinkedIn. So I go to LinkedIn quick and I look and <laughs> LinkedIn like banned my account. <laughs> and I was reeling in my head saying, okay, what did I say now? Because you know, it's me and I say stuff. That's what I do. Apparently I've been banned for illegal sales of some stuff. So LinkedIn, what the what? I don't sell on LinkedIn. If my thing says for a private session, reach out here. That's to prevent people from scamming people who are pretending to be me. Okay. Oy vey, people, oy vey. I can't in the land of the free anymore. It's free speech, free... I can't anymore. Like, and if we say something, they come at us even harder. So what, what in this world, what, what? Ah, okay. <clears throat> I don't even know if it was honestly for that. I really don't. I don't know why, what they're, they're proposing but I don't sell on there, but I don't know what they're proposing. I do know somebody runs around. Somebody, thank you to this person. Somebody does run around and report me to everybody. How important am I in your life? Man, how much of your energy and time and mind space do I take up for you? Thank you for being so dedicated to me though. Wow. That takes a lot of dedication to run around and watch everything I do just so you can report me. <laughs> That's a special kind of love you have for me to spend all that energy on me. Thank you. Thank you for loving me so hard. Thank you. Thank you for giving me all that energy. People be peopling. That's all I say. Okay, we're going to get right into it today. Um, I will be answering questions, helping you connect with loved ones. Please have an exact question like this one. Kate B says, hey, Tony, I've been thinking about my aunt and uncle's Greek Easter. Oh, do you have any messages for me? Okay, Kate. Um, yeah, you know, you guys around... Um, the holidays are very, very, very nostalgic for us. So, of course, we we will we will think of our loved ones so much during that time. So, the biggest message that I have for you from them is that there's. I think this. I don't know if this is a song or just a statement, but keep on keeping on. Um. And then the song I'm getting is something, something about a half a mile down the road. I don't really know that song. It's it's probably from maybe the 60s or something like that. Uh, but, you know, just keep keep uh, keep doing what you're doing, because what you're doing is 
where you are and I think what you're supposed to be doing I'm getting okay so I'm gonna go oh um I'm gonna do names and then songs and then we're going to go to um to questions so the first uh first we're going to do names because that's what i am hearing and the first name i hear is jess or jessica the next name i'm hearing is uh janelle the next name i'm hearing is marquise the next name i'm hearing is bobby the next name i'm hearing is um Okay, I hear Loretta really strong, and then I hear Lorin L Lorinda, Lorinda, Abel, Mischievous, uh, I hear Lorinda again. Bethany, and the reason I say, and the next name I'm hearing is because by the time I get done saying that, the next name is there, and when I'm silent, it seems like so much time in between. Okay, I'm going to say Adam, Alicia, and Z there's a name that starts with Z and I cannot say it. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce it. This is Zeta or Zieti, whatever that name is. Okay. We're going to go to songs and then this can be a song that is the answer to a question that you've been having a song your loved one loved you love or it just means something to them, you or both of you. So the first song I'm hearing is that song, Wise Men Say, Only Fools Rush In. Oh, it's, but I can't help falling in love with you. Mm. The next song I am hearing is um, Take a Chance on Me. I think that's Blondie. I'm pretty sure that's Blondie. Uh, the next, I think, I think that's Blondie. Patrick, is that Blondie? <laughs> um, the next song I'm hearing is, oh, anything by the Rolling Stones. Anything at all by the Rolling Stones. Uh, and then especially Beast of Burden. And the next um the next song, and I'm only gonna do two more songs and then I'm going to get right into questions. Um, the next song I am hearing is give a little bit, give a little bit of your love to me. And that's all of that, that I can sing. Um, <laughs> and then I don't know, I don't know if this is just offensive or actually the name of a group of fat boy or fat boys. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody tell me, is that real or just, am I just, oh, am I just getting stuff now? Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller. Um, the first caller, um, when I say your area code, please give me your name and where you're calling from and then your question for me. 509, what's your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, Tony. My name is Erica, and I'm calling from Washington State. Hey, Erica, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How about yourself? I'm excellent, thank you. Erica, how can I help you today? Um, I just was wondering if you see me, uh, or if you see like a, a significant um, partner coming out, or and what you're able to pick up. And I just feel a little old, <laughs> and. Um, and I just don't have anybody serious, you know? 
Okay, Erica, the first thing I'm getting is you've been single for a minute, meaning a little bit of time. You've been single <laughs> for a minute now. And you're going to be rewarded, but I need to tell you, and please re-listen to this at a later time because I'm going to talk really fast. There's the potential, potential mm -hmm. meaning possibility for three people to come in. Mm -hmm. The first person... Ugh, there's the potential for three people to come in, but the pr one of the things in is like when it rains, it pours. So these three people are all going to come in at a similar time or kind of at the same time frame. When they come in, you're going to feel like you have to make a choice right away. You're not committed to any of these people right away. You can take your time and get to know each one. Do not do online stuff. It rather you're going to meet these people organically, like through people or at places. It's it's all going to happen kind of uh, um, organically. There's going to be one guy that you're going to, that you're, there, there's going to be one person that you think it is. You're going to say, oh my gosh, this is him. He's actually, or if it's a he, please excuse. He's actually a, uh, this person is actually a, love bomber um uh and i hear the song by pat benatar you're a heartbreaker drinker love taker um so just to let you know that the person who comes off the the strongest or the um the most like seemingly interested might be the person who is the one you you have to really check for red flags but the person who is going to be <clears throat> the actual person that you end up with or or will give you the best situation relationship is the person who might seem a little bit uh, not it might seem a little bit boring to you, but what it actually is, is they bring you a sense of peace. There's no chaos. There's no drama. There's no, there's no highs and lows with it. It's just a really solid thing. And they're a really good person. And um, what I'm going to say is this is all going to start in... April, May. So it, like sometime in April through sometime in May, the person who you would find, I don't know how to describe it because they're not boring. They just don't have that chaotic energy to them. And here's for you and everybody listening. Sometimes when somebody comes in and they have a chaotic energy, like they have highs and lows and come and go and fight and don't, and they're they're just a drama mama. Um, those people in the beginning, they mask that and that energy feels exciting and not chaotic. So please take your time and you're going to know. And I do feel like by, <clears throat> excuse me, April... I'm seeing the 21st. You're going to know at least two of these people. The next question, no, you do not know any of these people yet. All these people are brand spanking new. And when they come in, be very discerning. You know what I'm going to say to you? Act like you're setting them, you're, you're interviewing them or uh, whenever you talk with them, act like you're talking to them for um, somebody that you love dearly. And that way, you'll take your emotion out of it and you'll get to the truth like, like, like that, like, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that, I'm, I'm very shocked it's like coming up like soon, like and, almost, you and, know. Yeah. And that's, and again, I want to say this to you that's up to you because, you know, I can tell people this can happen in this time frame. However, if you just go to work and go home or you work from home and you don't leave except for to the grocery store and then you're just like in your car, your probably chances are that it's not going to happen. You have to be out and about. If you are out and about from mid, well, from the second week of April into May, you're going to meet people and there's going to be something about you like 
that that smile that is very contagious and i'm hearing also go places you haven't been before okay love mm -hmm. okay sounds good <laughs> it's exciting excellent i'm so happy to hear that i hope that you have an amazing rest of the day you too thank you so much you you are so so welcome call back anytime okay i'm going to go to the next um the next question um hey rebecca kate uh, there's so many wonderful people on here hi tanita Tanita would love a reading. Is there a message from boyfriend in spirit, Ricardo? Tanita, I I'm not sure if it's um, Tanita or Tanita. I'm just gonna say this. Um, okay, the first song, the first I'm gonna give you the song that's coming through Tanita, and it is um, I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. Something for leaving me so long. Okay, that song. And that, I think that's maybe how you're feeling now without him. Um, his message to you is be strong. Uh, don't. He's good. He's okay. He's home. You, it's your turn. Oh, it's your turn. Live for you. Live for what you want. He knows your. Don't worry about having loyal, like us. I'm gonna say this, and then I'm going to explain it a little bit. Don't worry about having a sense of loyalty to him or feeling like, oh, if I, if I do this or I do that, he's gonna think I didn't love him. He. He feels all of the love that you had. So one of the things I want to say for everybody is when somebody passes on, they, they feel the love that you have because they're now in a dimension or a realm where they communicate telepathically so they can hear your thoughts and they can feel your truth. So you don't have to worry about saying 20 times or trying to convince them. They know the truth like that, like that. Okay. They know the truth. Um, but I don't want to say it that way. He's just saying, don't be loyal to a memory. It's okay for you to have your time. He knows you were good, a good girl and good to him. It's okay for you to move on and for you to live your life. He wants you to live like for both of you, go and live the most amazing life that you can without worrying about um, him or how he feels about it. I don't, I hope this makes sense to Nita and to, to, uh, yeah, living la vita loca. Uh, but then the, don't, don't be crazy. <laughs> don't be too crazy. Uh, just have crazy fun, have crazy goodness, have crazy. That song came through. So if it means something to him or you, um, and just have joy in your life again. Okay, sweetie, that is what he wants for you. Okay, if you'd like to call in with a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. I know I said that fast, I'm sorry. 845-277-9131. Call in, don't forget to push the one if you have a question. I'm gonna go to the next caller. I don't know if this is the last caller or not. 516, 516, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Kavita. Hey, Kavita, how are York. you? Hey, love talking to you. <laughs> Did I get um, what's Anyway, um, I'm trying to think. Can you, any new news about this upcoming trip to Greece in May? Any any additional information that you're picking up on? No, you, you know what? They're like, um, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, okay. The only thing, I think they've said everything. 
The only thing that they might add is um, if there's an opportunity to be on a boat, take it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like they're okay. So I get it. Okay. Thank you. Do the things. Um, go there and do the things. So if you are, yes. yes. So yes, you get it. Like, don't just go there and like, you know, sit at the beach, which is awesome. What I wouldn't give for a beach day. Um, but do the things go and do the things. Okay. Enjoy yes. partake yes. in the whatever. And, if there is a, a, a events there, like a um, where you can go, and I'm I'm hearing oompa, so like dancing or an event, a get together, a big gathering of a lot of different people, definitely go. Put your phone away for the night and just be immersed in it. Just be immersed okay. in it. If somebody asks you to dance, definitely say yes. Um, and have fun okay i know what you're asking me good. i can't give you that information i need you to go and find out for yourself is what they're saying okay okay sounds great excellent great. thank you yeah, so much looking forward to it beautiful i thank love you. that for you kavita we'll talk soon thank you thank you so much tony you are so so welcome bye -bye. thank you bye-bye Okay, um, again, if you'd like to call in with a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Otherwise, you can ask a question on the chat. Um, the next question, hi, Tony. Uh, do you see a significant other coming into my life this year? Any info would be appreciated. Thanks. Anita, hope you had a nice Easter. Thank you. I did. Um, I hope you did also. Um, for everybody who celebrated Easter this past weekend, I hope it was uh, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. Anita, um, this year, next year, is Anita going to meet? Is Anita going to have a significant other? This okay, Anita. I've asked three ways, and I am so sorry, sweetie. Um, it sounds like uh, early next year someone is going to come in for you. However, however, it's because, and I feel like this is what I'm hearing. So if this is true, please let me know. What I'm hearing is you said you don't want to mess around with anyone if they're not the one, which I get that. One million percent. Um, I feel like there's a couple different things going on. The first thing going on is that. The second thing going on is throughout this year, you're going to have a lot of things going on that may uh, take you away from the ability to, to start and hit, keep a serious relationship. Examples of that would be um, things with family, friends, travel, work, anything like that, that's going to be an overbearing part of your life. It would make it very difficult to start a relationship off on a very healthy note. When you meet this person in about a year or so, give or take a little bit, you are going to meet them organically. I don't know if I, should I be? I don't know. You know what, Anita? This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. You're going to meet them at a fish market. Yeah. At a fish market. Now, I know that certain holidays, um, I grew up with a lot of Italian people in my family. So like New Year's, I think it's New Year's Eve. We did all the seafood. I don't know if that's something for you. But what I'm going to say is in approximately a year, give or take a little time, and a fish market might have something to do with it. <laughs> now, you can't push this. Don't meet the right person at the wrong time. 
Just trust the timing is what I'm hearing. I hope that helps you so very much. And uh, thank you so much for your question. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 267. 267, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, hi, my name is Dee. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, how can I help you today? Uh, just a quick question. So I'm in a committed rela relationship, but I'm feeling an emotional attachment to a male friend. So I was wondering if you could provide me any insight or anything uh, that could help me untangle this. Okay, so I, I want to make sure I understand the cr question correctly. You're in a committed relationship with one person, but you're feeling an emotional attachment to another person. Right. Emotional attachment, spiritually, we're quite connected. So possibly that could be the reason that there are any insights you could provide. Thank you. Okay, I, I'm going to ask you a question because depending on your answer to this will determine what spirit says next. Are you wanting to know why you're feeling emotionally attached to this person or are you wanting to know what you should do with this? I would like to first know why. Yeah, Okay. I, if you have time, that's what I can do. <laughs> I'm going to try to put this in the best possible way without being blunt because sometimes spirit is really blunt and I already feel the, the bluntness coming on. Like I'm hearing that song, hold up, hey, something's up, but we don't play. So they're going to be very blunt. Um, don't do anything you wouldn't want done to you. Uh, don't entertain a serpent in the water is what I'm getting. Now, here's, and I know, I know, I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying what I'm hearing. I feel like the person that you have the emotional attachment to is not who you think they are. And anything you would proceed with, after the fact, you would think, oh my God, how did I get so bamboozled? How did I get so, how, how did I not see that? Okay, when you're mm -hmm. occasionally or even, let's just say when you're not really, when somebody's not, doom, 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 doom. I'm letting them get the message. <laughs> like in a way that I can repeat it that is 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 or, or I can let it come through me that is is calm and yet it, you'll get it like that okay they're ready um it's really easy to wear a mask or to come in as someone when you're not with them in that way I feel like this person, even if they are, you know, can, connecting you to you in a spiritual way, in a uh, emotional way, this may be a test for you to see um, who you are. Is the way I'm hearing it. Who, who, who really are you at your core? What values do you hold and keep at your core? That's the test. That's the thing. Great. You met somebody. They're emotionally connected. They're spiritually connected. You keep it at that. And then you, you, if it gets too much, you push that away because unless your thing, unless you're done with your commitment, you don't do anything you wouldn't want done to you is what I'm hearing. Having said that, um, this is a test for you to see who, how far, whatever with you. Does that make sense, love? Yes, yes, it does. Okay. Sure. Thank you. You are so you. welcome. And I hope that was helpful. And, um, and I do, I am going to say this. I don't think this second person is who 
you think they are based on the first message of the serpent in the water. And then I'm hearing that song by uh, Paula. Uh, it's just a snake in the grass. Okay, so so make sure sometimes we can feed a fantasy and we have to be careful of that, okay? Understood, thank you. you. Thank you very much. You are so, 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 so welcome. You have an absolutely amazing day and thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go to the next, uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go to this message next. I believe it's next. It's good morning, Tony. Uh, uh, good morning. I'm wondering if I can get a message from my husband who passed away about 17 years ago. Thank you. Okay, if you guys are leaving messages in the chat, please give me a name. because It just helps me to connect. Um and this is for Lynn Marie. Lynn Marie, the first thing I'm hearing, and if this isn't for you, it's for someone else. If it's not for you, I apologize. I'm just hearing the name Edgar. Edgar. So um, if that makes sense, please post it. I'm scrolling all the way down so I can read the new. Um, The new messages. So, um, uh, Lynn Marie, if Edgar makes sense to you, if not, if it makes sense to somebody else, let me know. So, it, it doesn't mean that's him. It could be anybody else on the other side or somebody here, as long as that name means something to you. So, Lynn Marie, the, the message that I would have from your husband to you is um, that song, uh, the first song, the first thing uh, he's bringing through is Don't Stop believe in hold on to that feet i cannot do all those tones and that song feelings feeling uh that song is the first song so if that makes sense please uh again let me know mark his name is mark okay did mark thank you lynn marie uh lynn marie so so sorry i wasn't <clears throat> And is is edgar uh, anybody that you guys would have known and does the song don't stop believing makes sense to you oh that's the song the song does make sense okay thank you okay the next message that i would get i love that you guys that just that i love that okay thank you for the confirmation lynn marie the next thing that he would want to say to you is um Uh, he's, he's okay. So the next thing I'm seeing is he still hangs out with you like every single day. And he's still like, you're still the one <laughs> that song. <laughs> um, and then the next thing um, wouldn't change. Like I'm hearing the song, love in every minute of it, but he wouldn't change a minute of it. So he changed the words of that song to, I wouldn't change a minute of it. Um, and letting you know he would do it all over again every time. Like if there were, um, oh, this is going to break me, you guys. If there were a million lifetimes that he would always choose to come back and um, he would always come come yeah that that right there okay that's your message lynn marie i hope that was so helpful for you i can't i can't go deeper because my uh yeah because of that because of that right there okay i'm gonna go to the next caller if you would like to be a caller today the call-in number is 845-277-9131 and uh, don't forget to push the one on the keypad so that I know you have a question or you want to connect. 505, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? I am not sure what that was. I'm going to go to 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. It's Pat in Connecticut. Hey, Pat. How are you? What's going on? Hey. What's your question? I'm pretty, pretty good, considering my granddaughter turned seven two days ago. My, I'll try to be quick and succinct. My daughter-in-law 
has been sort of chiseling my time with her. I'm an hour and a half away from her, chiseling away my time to less and less and less. And finally, the last email, when I asked to come up to visit for a day, which is usually what I've done, she said that no longer works because she needs to play, et cetera, et cetera. So maybe we could visit at a museum or someplace in Connecticut or Massachusetts, which will not work for many reasons. Um, I have about a two sentence email to respond to her saying it doesn't work. And since um, it seems so uncomfortable and stressful, my visits, I'll just wait to hear from you in hopes that I can see my granddaughter someday. Can you please respond to that? Um, okay, so if I'm getting I'm not it, sure I should if I'm getting it correctly, you want to know how to appropriately respond to your daughter about her her response to you or let her know what does work yes. for you. Okay, so then what I would yes. say daughter-in-law. Da oh, daughter-in-law. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Big difference. So here's what I would say. Uh it you know, I have had to learn if you, there's a statement that I heard on a video and it it was really profound. If you're not invited, don't go. If you are invited, make sure right. they wanted the invite and you didn't push for it. I right. love the idea of personally, and, and let me explain this, I personally love the idea of doing things with your granddaughter because it's creating memories. Remember that time we went to the museum with yep. grandma so-and-so? Not, However, there are reasons that that might not be doable for a person and that's okay. So what I would do is counteract with something that does work for you, such as and I don't know what does work for you, like maybe a picnic halfway. I don't know, whatever it is. Or you could just simply say, when it does work, please let me know. When when me yeah. coming to the home does work, please let me know. And leave it to them because what I have found just per personally with friends, with myself, with, you know, we are removed and protected from people that are not authentic in our life. People who might uh -huh. talk behind our back, people who might not respect us in whatever way. Right. And when they can be respectful of us, they can be back in our life. Now, every single person is a blessing to every person single person but if somebody's coming in and they don't recognize the blessing in a person then they don't deserve to be around that person they don't deserve to have that person around them and as much as it might hurt or be uncomfortable to not be in the presence of your granddaughter yeah. Yeah, you're I always say the the protection is more important than anything else. So accept. Yeah, accept it and say, you know what? I completely understand. I'm sorry that coming to the home does not work right now. If and when it does, please let me know. Okay. Don't don't. Don't give an explanation of why the museum or other things yeah. don't work for you. You put something on the table. It doesn't work. Let that go. Right. And sometimes yeah. when people say, let's meet here, it's because they feel that is a more controlled environment and they can control the time, the conversation, whatever it is. So just know that and don't yeah. just just think, you know what? I do. It's okay. People have their own things going on. 
I'm going to allow right. this when the time is right. And it's supposed to be, it will be until then, I'm going to live my life to the fullest. Correct. Okay, yeah. love? Yeah. I'm so, I'm, yeah, this, this is helpful, Tone. I'm really happy it's helpful, but I'm really sorry for what you're going through. It's always difficult with family. Yeah. Remember, like, uh, when people uh, live, um, when people live um, outside of, like, let's say, in another state, or they live wherever, they only really get that once or twice a year with their children and grandchildren. Just try to put yourself in that place. Like, okay, just because they live closer, it doesn't mean it's owed to me. Um, they have no obligation to that. But always remember, um, if somebody didn't invite or somebody is uh, skirting around it, accept that. Because the last thing I want to do is be at somebody's home who may have their own personal things going on, their own personal busyness or overwhelm. And, uh, the, and I'm kind of in the way uh, rather than being on the right, if that, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense, Pat. I hope that it's, I, it was helpful. Um, if you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Don't forget to push the one button so that I know that you have a question. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go to, I think, uh, I don't know who was next in the questions. Uh, uh, I'm going to go here. Elizabeth, what do you see for my love life? Do you see me talking to someone? Well, you talk to a lot of people, Elizabeth. No, that's my personal sarcasm. Um, I'm going to tell you, Elizabeth, you do have someone new, brand new. You don't know this person coming in in about... Okay, there's someone coming in in a month and a half. And... This person is this gonna be long? no. I'm going. This person is like what I like to call um, a test person, um, or someone who is gonna show you what you do want and what you don't want. So I would say the person coming in in a month and a half. Don't get too emotionally invested in this person. Don't, and I know a lot of people will say, well, then I'm not even going to deal with this person. I'm not going to talk to them. <clears throat> the idea is, in some cases, this person is going to teach you something about yourself or help you heal something about yourself that will get you to the next level of knowing exactly what you want in a relationship and what you don't want in a relationship. Um, not all short-term relationships are bad experiences, especially if you know going in they're going to be short-term. I, a long, long time ago, dated a surgeon, and I knew he was leaving. I knew he was going to be relocating. Um, listen, I... I accepted that it was a great relationship. We had fun and it didn't have to go the whole nine, whatever to whatever. And he was an amazing, really amazing man. And it was a really good experience because of that. Uh, when he left, I wasn't, I didn't feel betrayed. I didn't feel hurt. I didn't feel sad. I knew it was coming. So as long as you go in knowing the truth and with the understanding, and if you can handle it, not everybody can handle that. If you can, cheerio, go for it. Um, the next person you talk to, the very next one, don't get too serious. Don't go too deep. Don't think it's ever after. It's not. I don't care what they say to you. It's a, a tweener. It's it's in between. It's a, I don't want to say, it's just someone who's coming to help you really get clear about what you want. Okay. That's what I would say to you, 
Elizabeth, I hope that helps. The person after them will be the real deal, but you got to go through this person to get to the next one. It doesn't mean you have to have the, you know, sleeping with them thing. You don't have to do that. You don't. You can just, you know, you know. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller, 401. 401, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is, excuse me, Jessica. I'm calling from Rhode Island. Hey, Jessica, how can I help you today? Um, I am kind of going through this same cycle. I just lost a job. My rent's gone up. Um, everything's kind of bumpy right now. And I am hoping to get some clarity on how to overcome this. I've applied for lots of jobs. It hasn't even been three days. I've just been through this a lot. Okay, Jessica, first and foremost, I'm really, really sorry about everything you're going okay. through. Um, I'm going to do some clearing for you and everybody listening or watching. Let's, um, all unhealthy cycles have been healed, cleared, released. I get a no. Jessica, you may feel this. I instantly feel it coming up through my chest and out my head. Everybody feels it differently. And this is one of the most powerful clearings we can do and it's at about the mm, 45 minute mark of the show folks so if you want to come back and do this clearing every day until every single cycle is cleaned up and cleared i really recommend you do that jessica uh -huh. all that cause and kept these cycles that's cleared. okay and jessica i'm getting the biggest thing i'm getting is fear you have a lot of fear with just everything we're just going to do fear as a blanket and pull all of that out for you everybody listening re-listening what whoever whatever and again you know we're, they take as they take as the angels take as much as they can in the moment and then they um you may have to come back for other layers i i will personally tell you i work on fear every day <laughs> And fear is still there uh -huh. every day. <laughs> um, I'm such a scardy cat. <laughs> um, what I'm going to uh -huh. tell you, Jessica, is your cycles are about to end. You are about to enter a new thing. Now, what I also want to tell you is get on the right freaking road. And when I say freaking, I'm uh -huh. not being mean. I'm being somewhat funny. Here is something that you are extremely passionate about. Uh, you don't do well when you work for others. Are you a Gemini? Uh, you don't do well when you oh, work no. for others. Is that true? I'm a Virgo. A Virgo. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're there it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's it's true though. You don't do well when you work for others, do you? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. If you can figure out what you would love to do on your own, what are you really passionate about? What would you really like to do? And you pursue that and you find the way to do it on your own, you will be so, so happy. You would be best as an independent contractor, independent employee, or to be uh -huh. self-employed. Can I ask, what are you really... Oh my goodness, excuse me. What are you really passionate about? What do you really love? So I've, I've already started thinking around that children and also swimming, but children really. Okay. Use guiding children, mentoring. Okay. So one of the things I'm getting is um, okay. Um, find a way. And again, with it, it, okay, thank you. Uh, find a way to start your own thing, whether it's uh, I'm going to say babysitting, but a, a, a I, it, I'm on that track already. Yeah, yeah. that mm -hmm. offer. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm. I'm getting. You're going to have a full daycare because I got the word daycare, but I said babysitting, and I don't know why. And I feel like it's going to fill. That's right very quickly just take all the appropriate steps so nobody reports we reports you we got a lot of bored but people out here 
um, got nothing better to do. So make sure you have all the licenses and everything that you need. Um, but in the meantime, you're going to be doing very, very, uh, very well um, if you follow this and it's mm -hmm. going to be good. Okay. And don't, you know, I, I just hear you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. Don't second guess oh. yourself. Okay. 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 Excellent. Thank you so okay. much, Jessica. That for calling great. Thank in. you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. Call back anytime. Thank you. Pat, thank you for calling in today. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that to you earlier. Um, uh, let's see, we're going to go down to... Um, uh, okay, hey Patrick. Uh, Long Train Running by Doobie Brothers, okay. I am going to go to the next question and there's a lot of things in here, a lot of people saying thanks. Um, so I'm gonna take, uh, I'm going down to where I can find a, a question and uh, Sandy Sanders. Hey Sandy, how are you? Does my grandma have a message for me? Um, yeah, you know, Sandy, the message that I'm getting for you is, um, I'm hearing a song and I'm trying to make sure I know the words and the song is, um, I, I can't get the words right because like three other songs are coming in. But the what what I'm getting for you, Sandy, is that there are going to be some changes coming into your life. Uh, take it all with a like a grain of salt and like how you throw the salt over your shoulder. Take it all with a grain of salt. Don't worry about um, anything that is uh, not... Um, not uh, for for you. Uh, just worry about what is for you and keep moving forward in that way. Um, don't allow yourself to be in a space where you are so worried about other people that you're not seeing yourself in your true True self is the way to say that. Um, and allow yourself to be in a positive place. And if there are people in your life that are taking you out of that positive place, it might be time to minimize or release those people. I hope that makes sense to you, love. I really do hope that makes sense to you. Um, that's that's what I have for you, love. I hope that that, that helps, okay? I really hope it helps. Um, I have to... Dun, 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 dun. Now I was... I have to find... <laughs> um... Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. Now there was a comment here. I'm just going to go to this comment up here. Yes. The answer is yes. That is it. I was the that was the name I was trying to say at the beginning of the show. Thank you for letting me know uh, and confirming that that was the name. I'm sorry I could not pronounce it. I still could not Zaida, uh, I, I'm sorry, I still cannot pronounce it, but I hope it, I'm happy that you checked in and asked that. Thank you so much for asking that. Okay, I'm going to go to how much, yep, I have to make this quick, but I'm going to go to the next caller, 505, 505, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. I'm calling from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. How can I help you today, uh, love? 
Yes. Uh, this is regarding, uh, will I, I'm going to work at a new job as a monitor through the Albuquerque schools uh, starting next week as a classroom monitor. Uh, but uh, will I, and I'm living in a shelter, uh, will I meet someone through that job or because I'm going to two different schools? Uh, will I meet someone through the schools and someone else outside of that job to help me get into an apartment or rent a room or something? Thank you. Um, no, you know what? There is. Clear that. Clear that. There is some interference in giving you this message and I'm clearing it right now, but I am going to tell you. I am going to tell you, I cannot answer this question right now. I wish I could answer this question. I cannot answer this question. Um, I can tell you, I know you called in for one thing. I'm going to give you something else. You need to be where you're staying right now. You need to be out and about as much as you can. Um, don't stay in that facility for too long. What I can say is, what, uh, I'm just gonna find a place. I feel like that when you find a place to stay, it's going to come, it's going to be long-term, but it's a, a, you have to make sure that that's what you want in that area. And it's going to come once you are a little bit more established, such as having a, um, a, a, uh, some some work or something behind you that's what i can tell you i don't feel like it's going to come from somebody in the with in or with the school i feel like it's going to be something completely different i do feel like you should go to the social service outlets and see what kind of help they can offer you and go from there also okay love yeah, because these case managers at these homeless shelters, they don't help at all. Well, they probably are a little bit overloaded. And what I am going to tell you is if you go outside of the case managers to other organizations that help people, uh, they may be able to help you. I know there's a lot of, um, depending on where you live, it's called different things or they have different guidelines, but um, Section 8 housing. So if you find a place for rent and you ask them, will you, you know, allow me to be here on Section 8 and you go to Section 8 and you sign 90 up, seconds. it will be very, very, very helpful for you. It will be very um that will put you one step in that will get you one step closer it might not get you exactly where you want to be but it will get you one step closer okay sweetie i hope that's very very helpful for you um okay really quick you know i seconds. really debated whether to go live on facebook or not today because of the trolls and the people who jump in you guys like amanda if somebody jumps in and they're responding to your comments that are meant for me just please report them report them delete them do whatever you need to do i'm going to go there and do that myself now I'm sorry I could not get to everybody. If you do have, um, I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. So come and join me.